Uigo's holy relic makes him an immovable wall at points, but not as much as now. With the introduction of Tarmiel, where every time Twigel takes damage, he's gonna heal, and he has insane HP with his relic plus his passive. So you have the taunt in the first turn, and then you ult rush with any character in the game, making him the best taunt unit in the game. Really, like in the first turn, from beginning of battle, you don't need to use a card. You can go second. It's, be it's better if you go second. And then you're gonna have three ultimate gauge. The enemies can't single target Meliodas, or whatever character you're using, maybe King, whatever. The enemies can't single target him. So you can just push the ultimate as you please. And if they debuff you with Green Galfer, for example, cleanse. Use any cleanse character using Margaret. Increases damage as well, along alongside the, you know, cleansing. Just anything. And the enemies can't do anything about it because Twigo is just impossible to kill. Like, look. 58k damage, healed for 23k. Is it 90k damage? Healed for 40k. He has an insane pool of HP and then he just heals back every time he gets hit. Uh, let's get... Um, Two stacks for Meliodas, please. And his ultimate. And the next turn I won. Zero things he can do about this. There are zero things the enemy can do about this. Unless he somehow kills Meliodas. Which, if, if, you know, he pulls out three AoEs for Meliodas right here, right now. Could happen. It could. What are the odds of that, though? <laughs> Tell me, what are the odds of that? So Margaret's gonna pop in the blue card, which I'm gonna remove next turn. AoE, I guess. Which again, Twiggle's gonna heal. He can take damage, but he can't die. 30k heal from that. Level 2 AoE. That's gonna hit for a hefty amount, but just not gonna kill me. And, um, well, let's pop in the blue card for increased damage. I'll even get an extra stack with Meliodas, why not? And then ult. I'll even get an extra stack, just for a little bit more damage. A little more crit damage. There was no play that he could have done. Zero. Ooh, this might be a... Oh, it's a bot. Unless it's just a player with very low CC, which uh, can happen. <laughs> Oh, it is a player of low CC. I can tell because it's laggy. Okay, let's attack Kameli then. Yeah, it's just a player of low CC. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to just... Yeah, dodge food right there. I didn't mean to disrespect. I didn't want to call you a bot like that. It's interesting because he could actually seal me. If he, if he gets lucky and gets a level 2 Guffer card, he could seal me from using the ultimate and cleansing. So... In that regard, actually, Blue Skinny King is like the ultimate unit here, right? Because then he can't be sealed. Like, there's no char good character in the game that seals healing cards AoE. You got it, no chance. What are the odds? What are the odds? Wow. <laughs> I think I can still kill the Meliodas, which is good. What are the odds? I will risk that um, this will still kill, but well, like get Margaret's ultimate here. Because uh, I'm going to lose the ultimate gauge. Are you joking? It's fine. I'm going to lose the ultimate gauge, but the cards are going to combine. So I'm going to get the ultimate gauge back. Yep. That's what I went for. I'm I'm just uh, enormous brain like that. Ginormous brain. It is what it is. I can't. He actually got the freaking card, man. Unbelievable. He got another CEO. Okay. Well. <laughs> um. I'm just gonna kill Meliodas. If I disable Guffer, he's he's pointless. He's not even going to delete my cards. Merlin's already disabled. That's so funny. The moment I saw Gopher, I was like, oh, he could... If he got lucky enough to got, get a, like a, an extra seal on the first turn, he could. He 
could <laughs> cuck me, and he did. Unbelievable. Well, we still we still managed. It would have been funnier if he like if he went first. Actually, I kind of wish he did, because then he would have sealed me like right away, and it would have been funnier. But well, it's okay. This is not going to do with any cards because um, I um, put a debuff on him. Okay, can I play the game now? I, I've got... By the way, this is the first melee card I've got since the first turn. I just want to point that out. The first melee card I got since the first turn is that one. Just just, just letting you know that that is a thing. You know, just just pointing it out. How the, how the game's luck can be. You guys know, you, you play the game. Her ultimate is going to be pitiful. So I'm not very concerned of that because, again, she is debuffed. Uh, she can't lower my, de my uh, HP. Before the ultimate, without lowering the HP, um, th there's nothing that the ultimate can really do to me because uh, that's the whole point. The, the ultimate's uh, multiplier isn't very high because of the debuff. As such. Oh. Got the girls out. Again, uh, is the real player? <laughs> It is. It is a real player. I feel bad saying, oh, this is a bot. <laughs> and the, it just has low CC, man. Why am I judging so much? Yeah, dodge food. Why am I judging so much? I, I, I am the one with too much CC. It's just because... I don't know. I feel like a lot of people... Um, that I face when I don't use CC food... Are people that also don't have CC food? When I use CC food, I usually face people that are using CC food. If they're making, I'm like, it's a conspiracy. I know, but like, I'm almost certain that's how matchmaking works. They try to match you with people around your CC level. So if you're like, you know, a, a high spender, <laughs> for for lack of a better term, oh, there are better terms, but like, you know, um. You end up, if, if you just don't use CC food, you end up facing players with low CC. I I find that to be my experience. But to be fair, we did face like the first player had CC food, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking shit. Okay, this person has CC food, okay. Well, maybe I'm just shit furious, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And this is what I want to say, okay? Someone that can actually debuff me to take off my ultimate gauge, so that in the first turn I have to cleanse. See? It's just all... Ma it's a mastermind plan, okay? You're gonna triple attack me, try to kill my, my uh, Twigo, which is not gonna happen. His Lily is gonna be disabled now, so her second attack is not even hit that hard. That was almost 90k healing, bro. 90k healing. It's just so stupid. Because, like, here... If Twigo had died, like if he didn't have the link, the next turn, he would freely be able to remove my ultimate gauge with the end, right? But no, because Twigo is just an immortal god now with the link, what is he gonna do? You try to kill Twigo again? He could! You know, Mali can pull out some really big attacks here. I do have some damage reduction now, I got the healing. But it's gonna be harder now because at the same time, he's gonna have to get ultimate gauge for the end. He can't just you know, combine a bunch of the end cards, I mean, he could if he got very lucky, but combine, like, a bunch of the end cards and kill Twigo and take off my ultimate gauge. Because, again, now Twigo's gonna heal again, and then the end's gonna hit him, and he's gonna heal again. He just, he just can't die. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was, you know, thinking of, like, oh, I mean, he didn't even have four ultimate gauge, so it wouldn't even work, but, like, if he could've, you know, done it like that, that's the easy approach, you just kill Twigo, because he doesn't tank very well. Uh, you know, he, he has very bad defenses. It is what it is. He has really high HP, but really, really bad defenses. So you kill him, and then you take off the ultimate gauge, but no, no, no. Oh, similar concept. I like the execution of mine better, though. You know? Because of the cleanse. Uh, like, li the, the Liz also has cleanse, but it's just... Singular cleanse. Yeah, I'll do it like this. It's just singular cleanse. Um, maybe I think that being able to cleanse Twigo is always good. Like for last match, I feel like uh, 
Cleansing all the debuffs from him and giving him the damage increase is very valuable. The damage increase in general is very valuable. I do like the uh, the approach of using Margaret better. Also, she can complement. Like again, on that match against Galfer, he's he like I got cocked. Like I I just should have got cocked. My melee didn't get cards, and you know, I ended up resorting to using Margaret's ultimate, which is fine enough. I don't need any other ultimate really. Uh, let's, um, make sure that I kill here. Get a damage increase from another stack, and then damage increase from Margaret. And again, if you're not 6-6, six, six, then it's very... <laughs> you, you might actually need a damage increase, you know? So I like the Margaret approach a bit better, but this, this one still works as well. Yo, Lilia, okay. Again, Lilia would be a, a very annoying to deal with, if I couldn't just cleanse. Although the damage... He might be able to kill Twinkle. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. The damage is gonna be crazy here. Very likely. Not for the second turn, because it's gonna be debuffed. But this is gonna hit very hard. Ooh, close. 108k heal. Um, I'm gonna cleanse off the bat here, because I don't... Of course I don't want to lose the ultimate cage. Um, then it's like Melly, because Keo is gonna die to the ultimate anyways. I don't have to worry about him. Might as well do damage to Melly, because I'm, you know, he might be the only person the ultimate might not kill. By the way, I have green Sario Link, not red Sario Link, because like I can't crit with the ultimate anyways, right? <laughs> it's a cleave ultimate, so I might as well debuff their um, crit chance. It, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but yeah, it's something. Right, this might be my last match. Don't want to make the video too long. Ooh, that's Red Sauriel's Holy Relic. Nice. Um, I mean, same approach. And honestly, I don't. I don't think he can win again, like, I just... He can put up the shield, but Melly removes the shield. He can't... He can't remove the taunt with a stun either. He has to kill Twigo. Unless he does... Uh, like, I face someone with, like, a, a buff removal. That's a problem, right? Buff removal. King... King would be... A King can just AoE me to death, right? As long as they take, like, two turns and not just do all the attacks in the first turn, he can definitely AoE me to death. Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ult here, because it's gonna kill. Um, Sauriel's gonna get revived, because that's just how the Goddess Liz revive works. So I don't have to worry about Margaret. I mean, uh, 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 uh. Could she survive? <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. Yeah, very unlikely. Especially again with the damage increase, that's why I go for the damage increase with uh, Margaret over the Liz, but Liz is not the worst. Death Pierce, haven't seen you in a while. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.